Aggie Memorial Stadium. As we told you earlier in the show, NMSU has implemented extensive new anti-hazing training guidelines and reporting techniques for its student athletes following an $8 million lawsuit settlement relating to the sexual assault and hazing allegations within the men's basketball team. NMSU Athletic Director Mario Mocha received a five-year contract extension back in April amid these scandals, which surprised some people. Mocha reiterated today that it had been in the works long before the scandals of last year and said that the extension is motivated for him to ensure this never happens again. It wouldn't take an extension for me to not to want to have happen happened. I mean, I was a student athlete here. Um, you know, I have not experienced that in any of the stops I've been. Um, so this was uh, new territory that heightens everybody's awareness. We're going to get people, our student athletes and our staff as trained up with their uh, with anti hazing as there is in the United States of America. Mocha said it's up to NMSU's student athletes to take in the extensive training and utilize it. An out-of-state law firm ruled this summer that the hazing and sexual assault allegations were contained to the NMSU men's basketball team.